Overshot, overshot. Zach always cannot make it. Uh, why? Uh? Zach, here cannot, there cannot. Ayo. Like that, how? I want to, him to put in some efforts, to put in some information, to put in some notes, put in some writings, to put in some thoughts, to put some creative ideas. Chempo to me fun. Ayo. Ayo. Wait for a while first. Okay, Harley. Okay, I think let's start now. Huh? We don't wait already. Huh? So 9 30 sharp. Hopefully 9 no things whatever we can or 9 to 35. Huh? Ah, finally, Chao 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 all right, let's talk about the continuations of this uh, month. We still have about a couple of lessons for three lessons more for success and uh, discipline. We know that success and discipline are work hand in hand, as you know, for the past few lessons already. So my question to all of you is that, how are you going to write an essay? Like, let's say you happen to have an exam coming out. Oh, all in, uh, well done. Okay, wait for him, huh? Okay, turn on your camera if you can. Huh? Yeah, turn on your camera if you can. So, so wait for Kang Yao for a while more. Okay, thank you everyone. Please turn on your camera. So when you want to write a success about how success can really work and convince your reader and your examiner that, okay, these are different types of success, the methods, the, the steps and and convince them that you are this method and and, and uh, steps and also the way you formulize and, and strategies that works in your essay you have to use strong vocab words you have to use strong adjective you have to use strong adverbs you have to use strong maybe sentences that convince in terms of something that people look at it wow okay so today lesson we're talking more about something like that so let's look at success uh, you eating, uh? Okay, enjoy. Why are you so tired? Uh? You check Oh, no, it's, a, it's the lighting. And also, oh, I, also okay. I played football just now. That's why you played football? Yeah. Huh? You got just no CCA, man? Uh, no, no. You have CCA. It's after CCA. After CCA, what time you end? Uh, five, something there. Oh, okay, la. the weather not so bad, huh? Yeah. If you play at 3 o'clock, you see how... <laughs> anyway, you cannot play at 3 o'clock. I think it's raining quite heavily at that time. Yeah. I, if I'm not mistaken, the whole Singapore is raining like cats and dogs. Huh? Okay, yeah, continue eating. Thank you. Uh, we will arrange, uh, since you're, uh, later, before we end the lesson, I will talk to you again. Huh? Like, okay, uh, uh, honey, hey, Zach, uh, Zach, are you there, Zach? Zach, Zach, okay. Wow, finally, you're back. Huh? So... Uh, later, you got to fill out your things also uh, while waiting for you, okay? So, Zach, can you read to the class, please? Thank you very much. A uh, success noun, um, the achieving of the results wanted or hoped for. The success of almost any project depends on largely its manager. I've been trying to persuade her on taking more people, but so far without success. I'm not having much success in communicating with him at the moment. The success rate for this operation is very low. Uh, Ken Yu and uh, Honey has read this already. So I just want to give a benefit for both of you. So maybe can you think of a sentence in success like this? Uh, that is positive. But here it's a bit like negative. Uh, okay. Uh, the, the, way, the way they put the sentence is very negative. Uh. So can we have a sentence that is positive? What happened to you? Oh, you slimmed down a lot, huh? Zach. Like, you're sick, is it? You slimmed down I'm a lot. Still sick. I took MC today. Huh? I'm what? taking MC for today and tomorrow. What happened? What what sickness is that? Uh I'm still sick. Yeah, hello, brother. I know you're sick. Small pain. Oh, uh flu and fever. Ah, not COVID, huh? Last time your parents got COVID passed to you. Now what no what, what what's the problem? Huh? What's the problem? Is that? 
What do you mean? What is your problem now? What happened? What causes your flu and fever? Is it because you are sitting? Got a lot of people in my class got COVID though. There are a lot of people in your class got fever, but not COVID. Huh? I think it's... No, uh, no, got a lot of people in my class got COVID. Recently? How yes. You mean they, they tested? Uh? They got a kid. Uh? Now you want to find kid also very hard to test. Uh? I think it's not fucky already. Uh? Not, not, not valid already. Not, not useful. Anyway, uh, take care. So maybe uh, Kang Yao and Zachary or Tan Ling and you maybe you can come out a sentence that is positive by typing in the Zoom chat now. Okay, I said to all of you, uh, I am very happy that I have successfully asked my wife to go for a long holiday after much persuasion. Okay, so what about you guys? So I came out the sentence ready. All right, so the four of you, can you come out your own sentence in the Zoom chat now? Type your answer, type your answer. While you're eating, you still can think and type your answer, okay? Done. I'm waiting for you. Okay, thank you. He was answered. No, no, I want positive. I want positive sentence. I don't want negative sentence because here you see uh, the success almost depend largely on the manager. This seems like quite negative sentences. I want positive sentences. <laughs> I like the way you say, uh, as many successful people claim, working hard is the main key to success and cannot be skipped. Well done, which is very true. Team celebrated his success with a big party at a fancy restaurant. Okay. Ken, Ken, Ken Yao, thank you. I have successfully achieved my goal of getting... What is that? Very thick story. Very thick. Very Victorian. It's not Valen Victor Valen Victorian. Uh, I heard before, but I'm sorry, I forgot what it means. So so sorry. Uh, I appreciate it. it. Means you just stop like, like you get like let's say for if you say you get that for like O level, that means for your whole entire like all the subject that you get A one, or like mm. you basically like you top the school uh, or the country for my mm. sentence. Hmm. Okay. Okay. That's very interesting. Top in the school of the again, what you say? Uh, I appreciate that one you should use for school, but I think you can use for countries also. Use yeah, okay. Uh Zach, you want to change up? He was successful in achieving his goal of getting A1, huh? Change the unsuccessful to successful. That's all okay. Right, so let's move on. Uh, Zach, since you are not, uh, not well, just read this one first, then the rest you rest, okay? Something? Something that achieves positive results. Both films have been a big box office success. She's determined to make a success of this project. That summon dish was a success, wasn't it? So this one was achieving a result, one thing I hope for. Uh. 
So it's not very positive, but this one is already positive result. That means what you have written just now is positive result. Okay, thank you. What is an euphoric person? Zach? Uh, marketed by a feeling of great happiness and excitement. Characterized by based on or producing euphoria, a euphoric mood, feeling euphoric. He knew he was going to win big, 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 and he was euphoric about it. Uh, just imagine, no, no, you don't use the word, just imagine, just think about it. Uh, the couple of months of your hard work, you bring good result, and then you don't think that you can get a good result, but it turned out to be favorable to you, getting good result, and you're able to enjoy the fruit of success. At the same time, your parents are very proud of your, this fruit of success. And on top of that, you suddenly, uh, two weeks or three weeks later, you got a letter from MOE that you got this uh, you, and you save award. Then on top of that, you, you got a scholarship for whatever reason that they think that you're good. And for whatever reason, suddenly there's a group of people surprise you during a birthday. It happened your birthday. It's also like year end, uh, especially for year end babies. Then you go, wow, all comes in the great excitement and happiness. Is you really feel that while well, this is once in a lifetime for the past 16 years, 7 or 15 years, this is the first time in your life you receive so many good wishes, so many good things, so many good benefits, so many good rewards. Definitely, you're very euphoric. Definitely, you feel good about it. Okay, for sure. So, discipline is built by consistency, performing small acts of courage. Can you please tell me uh, what kind of small courage have you done so far? For me, uh, I will tell you my small courage that I have for, I, I do have a lot. Lah. Some is a bit private and confidential, but there's nothing confidential. Let me share with you that one of my stories is my set three. Uh, my set two and set three. Uh, so it took the courage for me to change the course to what I like. Set three was the time where I screwed up my whole entire academic life for the first six months. And somewhere on August, July, I start to wake up and knowing that if I don't buck up, I will stay back in set three. I'm going to retain uh, I got this friend who recently visited me and came to my house and said, uh, ask those students who feel and, and see what it means by discipline and success. I was like, oh, how come you know my topic this month is success and not discipline? So all the students who feel in their life will tell you uh, because they lack of disciplines. That's why they cannot taste success. And it's very waste of time to repeat one more year to do the same thing again when you know that you actually can do better during that year and why are you wasting that one year? So sometimes in life, uh, it, it's good to, to re, 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 recheck your courage. Uh, for me, I was so worried that, you know, if I would write my essay, I was so worried that the things that I uh, fear most was my sad three years when I nearly feel all the subjects. In fact, I feel all, most of the subject except one subject passed. And when I look at my report book, it's saying, oh shit, this is not what I have. My set two result was so good and my set three result was like shit. So I decided to take a small courage to start to give up a lot of things and consistently perform building my performance. Day and night I study like hell, nobody business. But no matter how hard I study, uh, I cannot pass my bio uh, because you need a lot of concept, a lot of um, works. And I tell you what, uh, until today, uh, sometimes when I sleep, until today, I'm, I'm so 50 plus. Uh, sometimes I dream of taking math exam. Honey, seriously. Thinking that I was taking a math AMS exam. A math. A nightmare. Really nightmare. Seriously, bro. I'm telling you. I like in the dream, uh, I asked my classmate, hey, 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 Zach, uh, uh Kang Yao, uh, Tian Yu, Han Ling, do you all done the homework? Can I copy your answer now? Uh, what is the homework for math? Uh, I did not attend the class, uh, I skipped class. Uh. Then then one of you say, Hey, next week got test no. Oh, that's the time I wake up, I go and pee. Every time no. The the answer will be ding dong here like that. Seriously, I I I, I until today, uh, I don't know how I can get away this phobia. Uh. Seriously, uh, this 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 math phobia. So yeah, finally I I, I took the courage in set three uh, and clear out all my doubts and, and passed. Well, it was not fantastic, but set four was the year I start to pull up my socks. So this is how is discipline related to my success story. So can you all four tell me roughly in your life so far, do you have a small act of courage that, that makes you to a different person. Back to you, Tenyu. Small act of courage. Uh. Yeah, I mean, based on your 16 years uh, of life. Yeah. I definitely have taking mm. literature as my 
I was like, in like, this in your O-level. Sh- no, yeah, no, I mean, it's just sec 3 in like, and now O-level. And yeah. all I can say is this thing traumatized me. Oh. I, I wish I do not think, I wish I took a job or history. I had a higher chance there rather than literature. But now, you, it, yeah, how is your literature? No, okay, it's only like around C5, C6 only. You know what's the, 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 the what do you call? Um, the ji tiao, the, the strategies and the methodology and methods and the way you study the teacher. Did your teacher tell you? Uh, don't think so. Don't huh? remember how so. If you want to study the teacher, you have to read the books at least 10 over times and keep reading the same thing. Oh, yeah, just... I know. That one is something I would like to do if I, because let's say if I know, because like our literature book has a lot of small story, yeah. And then there's a the poem which you will kind of like see. Uh, uh, my child will say, uh, oh, like, let's say book, chap- like the first to fifth book uh, is going to be tested. Then I was like, oh, then I'll just read the fifth one to five and then just like constantly read. Uh. No, no, you, you have to start now at home, uh, bedtime story to keep reading it and get some of the sentences, the code in the books that is interest you. And then write on the notebook and then every, every day refers. And then now the benefit of you having internet now, you can search the code, you can search the poems, who wrote this poem, you can search the person who is the author. Back in my days, we don't have all these things. So we have to go to the library, check with the teacher, or sometimes we have to attend some seminar, workshop, then we get the answer. That's I'm talking about A level, huh? not O level. So O level, I have to use my imagination, I go to the, the, uh, the library and search. And, and of course, that time, maybe the questions, the craft is not so tough. Huh? But same thing, the concept is uh, every day I read the books, so like bedtime story, read, like watching the same old movie again and again. Like the last samurai, I watched at least three, four, five times, five times a day. So it will kind of be go into your brains and feel better about it. If you're not going to do that, I tell you seriously, uh, nobody can help you in the teacher. Then you must be passionate enough to go in. What does this sentence mean? Okay, so you really have the very strong discipline to understand and analyze what the author is means. So using the SMART, that will help you. And using your own, maybe your own design formula to understand, like if you're doing Shakespeare, for me, I'm doing Shakespeare, I was doing Hamlet in my A-level. So I make myself to fall into myself as a Hamlet. Why he say the word to be or not to be, that's the questions. And then I feel myself in Merchant of Venice. I feel myself in uh, Measure for Measure. So then you can understand more people. Not just read the book, you must say, why do you think the author behaved this manner? Why is the tone like that? So literature and social study and even history, uh, you realize this humanity subject is really referring, Han and I can tell you, it's referring to humans' touch and natures. Okay, thank you very much for that. Uh, how about you, Han Which is your small acts of courage? Honestly, it's just, for me, it's just taking speech out as like a, as a competition thing, like just a go speech, stop, come mm. back, win, repeat. Mm. Every every so, single one, every single like competition you go to just makes you feel like more comfortable. La. And this kind of what changed me. I'm just more comfortable on stage now. I think more the small ad uh, so, so I think the small ad uh, don't mind if I share and I'm not bring back bad memories for you. The small ad, if I were you, uh, is that those idiots in your class, in your school, that things that you cannot talk well, cannot present well, you cannot show that things are uh, through the sense of jealousies and envy. Uh and sense of hatred worse come to worse. But the small ads tells you that I don't give a damn what you think, what you feel, what you see me. But the small ad of courage means that you prove that, you don't need to prove them wrong or prove them right. You prove to yourself. And the small ad of courage is that you, you filter out the noise that you want to make yourself better. And that noise itself is like, you know, telling you, uh, oh, I, I need to do this, I need to do that. I, I'm very focused. That is consistency performing. And that's what made you to be a good speaker to be. Uh, you were going to face this, uh, Harley, trust me. Because tell me, I tell you the truth, your attitude is like my attitude when I was in secondary school and GC. People hate me a lot. When people like me, uh, it's same click one. Okay, but mo- majority of my generation, uh, they hate me like shit. Uh. They even call me fragrant. <laughs> okay, seriously. <laughs> so yeah, they, they talk, uh, my generation taking the teachers are all very gay. Uh. No potential. Must take those um, size, uh, uh, what do you call this, uh, technical stream uh, or wow, this thing. Thank you, uh, Arlene. What about you, uh, Zach? 
which are the things that in your life you have small acts of corruption? Any uh, story to share? I'm um, thinking. Mm, okay, how about you, Kang Yao? You have anything to share about the small acts that you have along the way for the past few years? Yes, Kang Yao. I I can't really remember. I think you do have maybe you take some time to think about it. Okay, no problem. That also, I think today you're not feeling that good, even you're recovering. Okay, so I don't disturb you. I can tell you the four of you uh, the small ad that you have uh, is the time uh, when you took your PSLE result and then you decide to choose which school. Okay, you will hear, wow, this school good, this school better, this school is much good, this school is more stressful. That is the courage that you took uh, to decide to put on your six choices to choose your secondary school. Okay, that is the, the consider performing what you want to select during that particular time. So you realize for this picture, it's disciplines consists of all these little things beside it. Leadership, skills, trainings, philosophy, labels, respect, goal, visions, competence, and so on and so forth. Okay, so discipline serves as a catalyst for achieving goals and aspirations. It provides the structures and commitments necessary to navigate the journey towards success. One more time. Huh? It provides the structures and commitments necessary to navigate the journey towards success by setting clear objective and adhering to a uh, discipline approach. Individual can stay on track, overcome obstacles, and make steady progress. True. Sure. One more time, I repeat again and listen carefully. Discipline serves as a catalyst. So for the past few years, this catalyst has been helping you to achieve goals and aspirations. But once you move out the GPS out of discipline, then sorry, you can't do much. So it provides the structure and commitments. That structure and commitments is like navigating a GPS, the journey to success. Whether you like it or not. Part of it is you you have to do what you want to do, believe in yourself, and that's how you're going to write in your essay. So believe in yourself is the most important things. By setting clear objective, what kind of objectives you want to set to be successful? And adhering to a discipline, adhering, that means you must follow the guidelines strictly. And then individual can stay on track. Yeah, you have to stay on track and overcome obstacle and make steady progress. And make steady progress. Wow. There's something, huh? All right. Why discipline is a prime asset of successful people, a quote, a quick note. All right, you see this word discipline is like encrypted on like a, a, a piece of rock metal and you see the, the site is all very solid, very robust and things like that. Okay, and this is very true. Huh? Discipline is something that is very steadfast, robust, stouty, um, strong, like majestic. Okay. Discipline is a. Okay, let's put here. Uh, Han, uh, Han Ning, can you read to the class, please? Hmm? Han Ning, not there, Han Ning. Are you there? No. Kang Yao, are you able to read these? You finish your. Uh, you finish your makan already? Mm, yeah. Okay, can you. Uh, are you able to read, please? Thank you. Discipline is a quality that is often overlooked by many people. They think that this success is simply natural and that people who are disciplined must have won the genetic lottery. In reality, discipline is the cornerstone of true success. Without discipline, nothing can be achieved in life. If you want to live a healthy, wealthy and fulfilling life, it is imperative that you develop discipline. Okay. So think about it, Kanyo. I think this is very true, to not just you, me, and everyone here in this Zoom chat, in your family, in your friends, in even your little brother. Say so it's a quality that often look by people. So it's a good start huh? for your introductions. Huh? It's a quality that, that is often overlooked by people. And they think that success is just uh, people are born smart, therefore they are disciplined. Not true. Huh? 
the person can be born smart, but he doesn't have the quality of disciplines and they not, does not have the things. Uh. It's like must have won the generic lottery. Uh. Say, oh, because he's smart, man, that's why he's a normal, talented, uh, they only know what is discipline. In reality, discipline is the cornerstone of true success. But without discipline, then you cannot achieve in life. Let's read on here. How true is it? It fulfill a uh, life. You look at your parents, uh, kind of day in and day out, you know, they sleep so few hours, they work so damn hard to what they have to do, and they are not going to build more better lifestyle quality for their, for themselves and for you and for your future generations. So that's why they say Fuku Bo Santai. You see, usually the third generation is the one who screw up the whole entire family business. It's just like in uh, the, the Chinese uh, history, uh, the, the dynasty itself. Uh, you realize that after the 10th or 11th emperor, the things started going down. So people were uh, question and myself were question that, you know, Singapore today, uh, two, yesterday, uh, that the government has just changed to a new prime minister. Uh, some will say, uh, well, this minister may only last for another five years, may not be continued to do well, and things like that. Uh, I doubt so. Uh. I doubt so because we have a group of people really working together with the Prime Minister. Uh, but I won't promise you for the next 100 years later, will Singapore still have this kind of good quality leadership? I'm talking about 100 years later. 100 years later, you and I may not be on this the face of the earth. So can it be achieved? Or is, is it 100 years later, Singapore is the world number one in a lot of things, such a small country, and all the big countries fall apart. Uh, history has said, history already tells you, uh, no matter how it changes, a uh, small country will never be survived. And one of them is very good example is Venice. Uh. Okay? Oh my God, sorry. Okay, uh, next paragraph, uh, Kang Yao. Success and discipline are related. Success is not just about end result. It's not just about achieving a goal. Success is a journey, and it's one that includes many different parts. Successful people have learned to discipline themselves, and that, and that the discipline often comes at a high cost. They have learned to control their emotions, to control their desires, and to control their time. They have learned to be mindful of their actions, to think before they act, and to consider the consequences of their actions. In order to be successful, you need to discipline, you must discipline yourself. So if you are lucky you say you must, uh, it's not you need. Uh. You must discipline yourself. I will change the word you must and ought to discipline yourself. So these two paragraphs really resonate to all of us here. It really come close at heart. Uh. Okay, so as I my, my my very good example is my kidney stones. Uh, ever since I got this kidney stone, I start to exercise, eat healthy lifestyle, keep myself fit, go to gym today. Okay, and decided to see how much it can help me. Yeah, a uh, so few people saw me. Oh, Raymond, you slim down. You feel much better. You look more refreshed, rejuvenated, and you feel uh like re re um uh, restart your new chapter in life. Something like that after the kidney stone. Whether it's true or not, but definitely I can say I own my this success of the health at this moment. I'm not sure the stones are still inside my body, but I feel great about it to have a people praising me that I'm still on the good health in good shape. But sometimes outwards appearance cannot be trusted. Uh. Sometimes uh, you have to see your internal. So it, that's why I say, see, they have learned to control their emotion. You see, some people like your parents, sometimes when they come home, he might have a bad day in the office or with his kind, or with his boss or with himself, whatever reason. But he want to keep your emotions. As I always say, uh, if you have something bad in the office, do not bring those things back home and destroy your family's relationship. So you see, to think before the act and to consider the consequences of actions. <clears throat> Same thing, uh, next time you're going to be father, you're going to be husband, you're going to be a grandfather. You must control your emotions. And that is what we call disciplines. I, I used to be, have a very ill discipline when I was around 20 plus to early 30s until I got a, a heart attack, chest pain, and fainted in the office. Then I start to wake up that I cannot be OCDs. Uh, that is something that changed my lifestyle. And I disciplined myself, of course, now from the day one until now, every day, I have to take one high blood pierce because of my high blood. 
And do you know what I'm Yao? Let me tell share with you all this more. There's this one another story, yeah. Uh, my discipline. I went to join the volunteers Singapore Police Force. And because of my high blood, I was being rejected. And Zach, I did not give up. I wrote to SPF to ask for another review. The letter came back to me, I reviewed. Second time, uh, Zach, he failed. I be song. I go and ask again. I really need, I love this job. And in and out of Zach, it was three to five times I lost count. The same clinic until the doctor said, hey, I thought I already told you, uh, your, your high blood is too high. You're not satisfied to become a volunteer police call, uh, volunteer police. Say, doctor, I really love this job. What, why you want to risk your life with such a low pay? I say, it's not about pay, doctor. I, I, I raise my voice. It's not about pay, doctor. It's a passion. Everyone has a passion, just like you. You are so passionate to be a doctor, right? Wow, that, that really shut her off. And she, okay, come. And take the blood. Then you say, um, still high, lah. But I will recommend you to more exercise, regular check. And guess what? The last one, the fifth last time I went to polyclinic, it was 1 2018 of all the days. I was so happy. I go back to get the letter and go and see her again. And she just diagnosed, uh, check on the high bloods, the, the machine. Yeah, it showed a bit high, but okay, la, uh, you must take care of yourself. Because once the doctor says certified, if anything goes wrong to me, her job is at stake. She'll go for inquiry and then she might lo lose a job loss a professional. Why should she risk her life, her career because of me? So because of that, I keep my words, I keep myself fit. I enjoy it. The rest is history. So it's a small act of courage. I go in a persistent. Never, I think very carefully. So discipline is a virtue of successful people. Uh, can you, are you able to read? <clears throat> All right. Discipline is a quality that not all people can claim to possess. Some may, some people may think that that it's a virtue, virtue, but for many, discipline is not a concern. It's not until something goes wrong that people realize that they don't have the discipline they need in order to succeed. Many people never realize the importance of discipline until it is too late. Meanwhile, discipline is the most important quality of successful people. Successful people are those who have a balance in their life. They have a clear sense of who they are and what they are. They want. They have a plan for achieving their goals and they stick to it. They, also, they are also disciplined in their daily lives. Successful people are not only disciplined in their personal life, but they are also disciplined in their career. <clears throat> Look, uh, uh, Zach, today you just relax. Uh. Okay, so I promise you, you read the part. If any questions you're not clear, of course, you can unmute and ask me. You realize those people who, cancel, who have cancer, uh, they are very disciplined. Uh. Before that, they don't have cancer. They are very disciplined. Uh. Whether they, you heard this saying before, fan hou yi gen yan, huai le lu shen xian. So today, after a meal, they will start to smoke or sometimes they got stress out. Anything, uh, nothing to do, they will smoke, 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 smoke. Until one fine day, he realized he went to see a doctor, he started coughing with blood and realized that he got lung cancer. And that's when he started to discipline to cut down his cigarette, go for exercise, get healthy food. Does it help? It depends on which stages of the cancer, that person cancer is. Does it really give the sense of where they want to be now? Knowing that I'm still very young, 40 plus, I got lung cancer. And my kids and my wife, I just got married five years ago. My kids is only two, three years old. I still want to see them to go. I want to bring them to school. I want to see them graduate. I want to be a father uh, to take care of them and the grandparents. But now I got with cancer. If you know this, uh, why in the first place you are not concerned to have disciplines of it? So a successful, yeah, successful people have a, 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 a policy. So I hope all of you listening here, uh, guys, that you really have to start today from today, come out a timetable and plan. What are you going to spend for the next couple? It's really only four and a half months to go for your exam. Okay, three and a half months. Liu Chi Bao Chiu. Ah, four and a half months to go. And make this four and a half months the 120, uh, 200 over days. Uh, is it 100? Uh, about 150 days to go uh, before your final year, year exam paper. So stick to your goal. You see, plan and achieve and stick to it. And put away all your games and all these things. Seriously. Not worth it. 
then you really have to embark on this if you want to have a successful career. All right, so uh, Han Lin, can you read Noah? Oh, uh, Kang Yao, can you help me to read this? I can, I can, I can. Oh, you can, uh, okay, go. Then you turn on the camera, I thought you still- oh, I, forgot, the forgot. I, I just, I just came back, I just came back. Okay. All right, all right. They have Tell a set me. of goals that they are trying to achieve and they stick to them. They put in the hard work and time that it takes to accomplish their goals and not, they are not afraid to fail. People who don't be success ever like the self-control to stay on task and complete their goals. This can pose a problem for them in all areas of their lives, but it's especially problematic when it comes to achieving success. If you ask me this, uh, there's a true story last year. One of them uh, is now in GC. I think it's in Catholic Junior College. Huh? So he was taking my SS for a good one year plus. And he has not doing well, feeling, number one, he never had any homework much. Number two is he's a very good boy. He doesn't know the concept. And during the class, he seldom asks questions and just follow. And finally, I decided to pull him out of, of the Zoom. He still continues Zoom. I pulled him out of the Zoom and he went to grassroots club by common folks, my sister's place. And I have a one-to-one -one session with him for about a good 10 lessons or so. And spot some questions, doing SS and history. From an F9, then mid-year, he got a C6. And finally, uh, at the end of the year, Kang Yao, he got A1. That's one of the story, uh, the small act of courage to have persistent, consistently uh, performing to be a disciplined student. So there is always possible, if you think your result will start your WA2 now, and you're going to sit there and look at your stupid result, feel, 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 or even you better still, you think your results are now good, good, good. There's a possibility of good going to them to bad. So if your results, some of your subjects are good, so continue to embark on and make it to A1. There is always a chance. Four and a half months is quite a substantial amount of time for you to build all your subjects up. Provided you do three things. Number one, you must have a positive mind. Number two, you must set a plan, a timetable. Number three, once you have a positive mind, once you plan your things well, discipline on it. Do it. And don't turn back really. Move forward. Seriously, I can tell you 1,000 ways of all doing this, but if you're not going to do these three simple steps, you please, good luck to you. Because these three steps will last you to your A-level, to your poly, to your university, to your life. Because I learned this from National Service Army. Okay, cannot do one, sir, cannot do. Shut up, who say cannot do? Do. Well, we keep doing it until, see, I told you can, right? The one now I tell you, Isaac, is tripping a rifle. So within 10 seconds or 30 seconds, you must treat the rifle and assemble back the rifle, the M16. Our generation is M16. It's like, oh, I cannot know. Uh, you see, uh, all the JC people like me, uh, when you go to the army, it's like brain nerds cannot. But those poly students uh, or those people who don't study very well, uh, you ask them to do physical, dis uh, dismantle the whole rifle or do all this, oh, number one, they are spent freaking fast. But when they ask them to study about theory and exam, uh, well, they speak in class. They say, hey, bro, I don't know what this word means. You know, my generations are not everyone's a very English proficiency. Some they talk, 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 they say, hey, Xiao Yi, Gong Simi, yeah. In Hokkien, they say, hey, they talk, they But Lao I don't know, like, well, I'm more very team, uh. English very, very team. I Chinese helicopter. You know how of this? Avoid, uh, but, diam, diam, si tai. And it's true, uh. So think about it, guys. Three things. I learned from army and also learned from police. Okay? Just like uh, we are going for combat tactics uh, or uh, contact tactics. Uh. Contact tactics means when you uh, encounter a, a violence uh, suspect or how you're going to lock him down, handcuff him. So if you are negative, uh, the instructor say you will never be able to handcuff the, that suspect. No matter how the suspect, how big size, you know, the, the size is like, like WWE or sumo. Can you handcuff him? Huh? So when you're negative, you cannot. Then what is the plan? You have to plan how you're going to attack the person and bring him down and kind of it. That's all about discipline, training. <clears throat> Think about it now. I can tell you so many days, so, so many days, so many times. Uh, if you really don't put in, uh, no point one year in, one year out. Seriously, start doing something. Uh. Okay, you only got one exam to take. That is finishing. Don't try, uh, don't, don't try. Touch wood, uh, don't go and say, never mind, uh, I feel I can come back again. It's the most stupid things. You see, uh, I, I feel a lot of things in my life. But the one thing I'm very proud of is uh, I never fear in my study. <laughs> okay? 
The only thing I feel in my study, I just shut up, don't laugh at me. Yeah. It's my property exam when it comes to calculation. <laughs> and then the only insurance exam I passed also calculation. No, I'm not surprised. Yeah, I was like, shit, man. Then my friend said, hey, since you're so good, then you can do property. Like, you can talk so well. I said, don't want that. I cannot, I don't want. And then I'll do insurance, uh, uh, also calculation. Uh, but that calculation is not so tough as the property one. So a bit of lucky. Uh. So my AMAC, even I feel uh, the AMAC helped me to do the calculation for my, my insurance uh, license. So now, uh, that now you understand why math and English is very important. So, so, so that the only things I, I feel a lot, of, like I feel a bad relationship with my wife when I was young, as a young husband and young father. It's really an idiot husband and father. I feel I'm not a good husband at that time. Nearly got divorced. Okay? So in life, you really need to, then I start to say, hey, must be positive. If you want to have this relationship to carry on. And my wife nearly died giving birth to my third child. And then I have to plan. Plan like, okay, what should I do early morning wake up? Should I buy breakfast for her? Walk with her on the, on the park or talk to her and things like that. And when she got problem with the, the work, can I help her? And then the third one, discipline myself to be able to come. Discipline myself to look as a husband. What must I do next? Show good role example, role model. Okay, please. Seriously. Thank you. Uh, can you, are you able to read? All right. <clears throat> Successful people have a level of self-discipline that is second to none. They are a they are able to break away from the distractions of life and focus on what is important. They are able to find the time to do what is necessary to reach their goals. They are able to take the time to focus on themselves and their goals. They are able to stay motivated and focus on what is necessary for them to reach their goals. A lack of discipline is what holds people back from true success. They are unable to find the time to work on what is important. They are unable to find the time to focus on themselves. They are unable to stay motivated. They are unable to take times, eh, to take the time to achieve their goals. You look at people like Jack Ma, Lee Kuan Yew, Lee Sin Long, now with Lawrence Wong and CTP, or even Hitler, Stalin, or even those bad people you think of. Uh, they are successful in their evil way, and their people, their leaders are successful in their evil way, bad way. Their leaders are also successful in the positive and good and humane way. It's all drilled down about self-discipline. You see, uh, uh, Ling, and those of you who are taking history, uh, you see, look at Hitler. He's definitely a successful leader, right? To the eyes of people, he's a bad guy, but to a lot of Germans, they are a good guy. Okay, just, sorry, uh, this live recording. To a lot of people, my grandfather generation, uh, they will love Mao Zedong a lot. Seriously. So one time, uh, I asked my student, your parents like, Mao Zedong, you know, I say, sorry, Uncle Raymond, sensitive, uh, cannot say in this Zoom chat. <laughs> so I'm telling you, I don't like him. If you look at the history, if you hardly, you know what I mean, if you study China history, <coughs> I never liked communist leader. Only two communist leaders in China is Xi Jinping and Deng Xiaoping only. The rest are not interested. Okay, that one, the two guys I really respect. Of course, you don't tell me the, the Kim Jong-un. Uh, that one, don't wait here. I want the Dorim, the Dorim one, no, no way. Uh. It's, to me, it's really dictator, uh, the modern dictator's leaders. But he has his own charisma, his own self-discipline. That's why he can intact North Korea as what well. North Korea today it is. And so many high-flying generals can work for him and die for him. And that really has really a focus point for him. He's not getting distracted. He knows he's the, the leader of North Korea and he cannot screw up. And the, the re re recent uh, India Modi, the, the president who is going to be elected, hopefully he's the one, uh, hopefully I don't know who. He's got Indian population of 1.4 billion people to take care of. So you see, all leaders really need to focus. You are leader yourself. So when you're writing this kind of essay, the keyword is focus, discipline, self-discipline, self-love, self-actualization, self-reflection is the most important. Reflect. Hey, can you all do that now, Zach? Like, like you see, uh, you finish your NSV already now. Uh, Zach, have you finished your, your competition already? Zachary, are you there? Are you okay? Zach? No. You're not okay. Zach, Zach you haven't finished your competition. Uh? The, the, the I, I finished already. 
Uh, so what you came in first, second, third, or what? Huh? Hello, brother. Can you answer? Number Tipa Ming, huh? No, uh, one eight. Sipa Ming, ah, okay. Do you feel disappointed of yourself? No, no point. Now, nah, good. Do you think that you did not put in a lot of discipline to get number 17, 16, or even number 10, or number 2, or number 1? Have you think, thought of that? No? How come the number 1 can be number 1? Do you think he deserves to be number 1? Do you know the person who got number 1? Yes. Uh, do you think he deserves to be number 1? Tell me the truth. He's from your school, ah? Yes. From your school, ah? No. Huh? Yes or no? No. Uh, from which school? All right. All right. Uh, do, do you do you know him? Uh? Yeah. How come? Uh? So how do you think he got number one? You see, focus. Effort. effort. You also put effort, uh, brother. What talk you? You don't tell me you don't put effort, man. Go and understand and study those successful people. At the same time, also study people why they fail. So that you will not fail. Go and ask those people why they fail. Because of what? Uh, then you don't follow their footsteps. And look at the successful people. Why they're successful. And most of the time, people who are successful will not tell you their secret recipe and secret formula and secret strategy. Uh, let's be honest. Uh. So you have to observe yourself. Why the all right guy can get first. When you got a big difference of something position apart. And why are those people in 1920 uh, are worse? There you are. Uh, Zachary because they are focused in the goal they might be when you are resting all these uh, they might be watching YouTube or at home keep themselves fit focused of course will it affect the study or not that is another story see we are all top school uh. you need school and top schooling I wouldn't say good school uh, top school uh. they are good caliber leader like yourself definitely their study must be as good as in their sports you see so they are able to stay focused. It's very important. Kong Yao, conclusion, please. Successful people seem to be able to do anything. They have discipline and focus not found in most people. They don't get distracted by small, small things that hold other people back. They have a clear vision of the future and the steps they need take to achieve it. These people have a lot of positive qualities that make them successful. One of the most important of these qualities is discipline. Quotes are powerful in reinforcements and reading quotes on discipline regularly helps move towards a more disciplined self. Here are a few quotes on discipline. I don't think I add in. Uh, don't have. Okay. So you realize that like Hitler, in the jail, he already wrote his story about my struggle. Stalin also find ways to become the leader of Russia in the communist uh, Russia. And Mao Zedong also the same thing, went through a lot of hardship. I respect a, a man like him uh, in terms of characters, but I don't respect his political uh, behavior and attitudes. I respect Mao Zedong as a, as a person. Okay? He's a good person, but I'm not doing and other ways. So you realize that every success story, look at your parents. Don't need to look, go far. Don't need to go far. Look at inside your house. Your father is a good example. Your mother is a good example. Your grandparents are really a good example. Why are you screwing up your life? Huh? No, Uncle Raymond, I'm doing well. Huh? When I say screwing up life, huh, it's, let's be honest and fair. Huh? Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. How much time you really focus and discipline to work on your study? A minimum of at least every day minus your tuitions and your school curriculum timing is at least four to five hours per day. Do you do that? No? You have to stop watching your YouTube influence or TikTok. Honestly, uh, I don't think this should stop. Uh, because sometimes uh, this TikTok and influencer things or uh, social media can sometimes give you good ideas and good tips and good motivation. But sometimes you overshot reading it and watching it and playing the games too, too, too much of it. Huh? It becomes addiction. It becomes taking over your subject. So it's like, a begam is not, not possible. Uh, in Hokkien, begam is not, it, not right. Huh? So let's do it. Huh? Put a quote, okay, Kang Yao, Zach. 
write a code for yourself. Success means what to you? Okay, seriously, you, you need to do that. If you're not going to do that, seriously, uh, I, 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 I'm a bit worried uh, for the coming years exam, uh, not this exam, for futures. It don't last minute like Ling Si Bao Guo Jia, Bing Si Bu Shao Jian, burning midnight oils. Uh. Research has shown that uh, uh, last minute burning midnight oils, only maybe the top 10% can achieve result, not 90%. If you are the top 10, okay, uh, maybe you are a genius. Okay, so I'm not saying you're not genius, but if you can do that, uh, every subject last minute, uh, ayo, don't lah. Uh, why don't you finish all your exam then you enjoy first? That's why they say Xian Ku Ho Tian and suffer first then enjoy later. Seriously, uh, not worth it. Uh, okay. So uh Zach, uh, I need you to do this uh, seriously. Um I think you miss out this one to see that why discipline is essential for success. Uh. You miss out this one, so you need to give me this one. And why discipline may not be essential for success. Okay. So I need you to do this one here. Okay, right. Uh, take a picture of that. Okay, take a picture of this one. You realize, uh, have you read this now? Huh? No, right? Did you read this last week? Uh, can you? Can you remember that? Huh? Yuma, huh? Can I you? I don't think so. I don't think so. You don't think so? Okay, so uh, let's read now. Huh? Let's go. All right, okay. Next it's time I know already. Sorry, uh, next time I put that, have not read. Only write oh. down the answer. Then no need to keep asking. Okay, let's go. Alright. Discipline is definitely essential for success. I mean, how are you going to achieve your goals if you just keep on pushing it aside and set it for your future self? The, doing that just shows you shows that you lack discipline. Having the lack of resilience as you either you easily give up on it or you just like to keep on delaying your journey to your goal. So, so discipline is important to keep your journey yep. goal. Okay. The other okay. one is discipline is not essential. Let's go. Okay. Discipline is not essential for success. That doesn't mean it isn't required. Some people in the whole world have some hit start, if some will call if some will call it, compared to others. Like some students are natural talents for studies, while some are that are talented for sports. Even some students being born in rich family is considered a hit start. These advantages can help make up the loss of some discipline. For the person to achieve success, 说的很有道理啊，真的，真的。他们每次讲齐头万事难，可是你投对胎 ，OK， you you born in the right place, right time, right family, you already don't say half or maybe near to half or better than half.、Mm -hmm. The rest is yeah, the rest you continue to with some discipline and success、okay. and with some uh with some help from your your gurus, your mentors, your family members. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. Ah,、uh. I use the word totally. Of course, ah,、uh, you see, ah,、uh, for those people who are born poor, their head start and they they need at least ten times discipline, ah,、uh, to get the yeah. policy. Hmm. But then at the same time, you realize that、uh, all the poor people are、uh, like, if you watch those kid ah、uh, like shows and stuff, all the poor people are、uh, are somehow the most disciplined ones. Yeah, like every day、yeah. work so hard, even they don't have textbook. Ah,、uh, they still study so hard and get top, and then after that. Yeah, you know, top in their class and stuff. Cause I think、huh. is they don't want to their future children to live that life. So they study very hard. Oh, but that's one thing I realized. Twenty years ago, ah, bro, bro. Twenty years ago, I will agree to your this statements, ah. But along the way, I've been teaching thousands of students, 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 ah. Ah, not true, lah, bro. I do see rich students, ah, who are work very hard. I tell you, you know, I say, eh, 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 儿子，儿子啊，不要读书了，不要，陪陪妈咪。You know, I say, no, 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 cannot, cannot. I、yeah. want to study. I'm last in the class, but later the mother call. Ah,、uh, he's actually psychological. He's saying he's the last, but the 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 oh my god! I got this stupid fly in my skin. Ah,、uh, no, 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 Chad. He's following a quote. Ah,、uh, train like you have never won before, but when you fight, you fight like you never lose before. Wait, ah, wait, ah. I I'm spraying some <laughs> insect. Give me. Give me. No, you see, I do have really rich people, students who are so determined that because of the pressure that is given to them, or they are born naturally to like to study because when from young, their parents already discipline him to do this. So it's a routine. It's a must that they have to complete these things before they do the next one. So it's very so some are not some they a year.
I got to get the, away the this stupid test uh, in my room. Give me a minute, ah. Uh. I cannot take it. Oh shit. Where the hell is it? Uh a bit warps. A bit warps. Uh the warps. Child thing should be trying to catch out a wasp. I don't no, no, no. It's flying in front of me. After yeah, I, I mean, you know, the walls later you know, on one time they, you, bro. They, they remember your face, your cook, buddy. Actually, no. I think it's yeah, that, that's Hornet. That's Hornet. Never mind. That's Hornet. No, that's Hornet. Okay. Lucky. Uh, Hornet, yes. I don't know where it is. Lucky is a what? wasp, man. What? If what? it was a Hornet, uh, yeah, good luck. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, uh. Hey, I need the, something to. Sorry, guys. I need to smash. Smash the where's the where's the thing? Okay. Wait on guys, sorry, sorry. Oh my god. Oh no. What hornet is the type of hoax? Oh it's the other way around. No, that the the one species. Is it out really? Yeah, I think, uh, I, think, I, think, I, think I think I think I hit the wasp out of the, the window. <laughs> I think I hit the walks up the window. Um, uh, Raiden, check for me. Is it coming back, flying back? Okay. Um, like I mentioned before, uh, true that the poor kids will think ten times, twenty times discipline to get a scholarship to get, uh, because they they know they want to get out of property like myself. But there's some rich students, rich family students, they know the importance of study because they don't want to go back to property, seeing that their surrounding friends who are property, they say no, no, no. I better work hard. I need to maintain my this wealth. The only the only things that I need to maintain this wealth is to work double hard to maintain my family business. And I want to take my family business. And one of them is my good friend's son and daughter. So beginning of what he was like playing, playing. Then later he said, Oh, hell not. Something is different. I need to change. Uh, that's a wake up call. Uh, next honey, your turn. Discipline forms the cornerstone of success, providing the structure and focus necessary to achieve our goals. Is the commitment consistently follow? Is the commitment to consistently follow through on our plans, even when faced with challenges or distractions? By maintaining discipline, we cultivate habits of diligence, perseverance, and self-control, which are crucial for overcoming obstacles and reaching our aspirations. Whether in academics, career pursuits, or personal development, a disciplined approach empowers us to stay on track. Make steady progress and ultimately realize our full potential. Success isn't merely about talent or luck. It's about the daily dedication to do doing what needs to be done, even when it's difficult, inconvenient, or mundane. Yeah, exactly. That's what Mister Lee Kuan Yew tips. Uh, Zach, while you're reading, uh, this uh, maybe you can start planning your this one to fill up your this empty space here, huh? Okay, so you still got a bit of time, so I don't want to take up too long. Because this one was done last week when you were absent. So I agree with you, uh, um, like discipline is really a kind of cornerstone that you must be there. It's like a yardstick, it's like a benchmark, it's like a, a, a temperature thermometer measuring your, your fever up and down, that kind of stuff. Okay, Zach, I know you are not feeling well, but just do your best. Uh. You know, I don't like the word try. Uh. Just do your best. You can think of, but if really, really because of fevers and all these things cannot take it, I understand, understand you, not sarcastic, of course. I know you are a very hardworking boy. They say, Uncle Raymond, can I pass? Or today I really cannot think. Uh. Maybe I give it to you next round, or maybe I can pass the way. I pass, then I will not bother you. Uh. Okay, let's continue. Once I finish, Kang Yao, you let me know your answer, okay? Let's go, Han Ling. All right, well, discipline certainly has its merits. It's not the sole determinant of success. Success can stem from a variety of factors, including creativity, adaptability, and resilience, which may not necessarily rely on street discipline. Some individuals thrive in environments where flexibility and spontaneity are valued, allowing them to capitalize on opportunities as they arise. Moreover, success often involves collaboration and networking, where interpersonal skills and emotional intelligence play by pivotal roles. In certain fields, innovation and risk-taking are celebrated more than adherence to routine. While discipline can be beneficial in many scenarios, it is not always indispensable for having success. Uh, this part, last part, I agree. But if you say this one, creative and discipline, not necessarily discipline, uh, I don't quite agree with you. Uh. Okay, because look at Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo. Uh. 
Okay, they, they are the ones who are very disciplined doing a lot of things, right? Their, their ability, discipline, resilience. So this part, uh, Harley, I don't 100% agree with you. But the last few paragraph sentences, I do agree to a large extent. But this one, uh, so that just to make the difference, uh, whether why discipline is essential and why is discipline is not essential. Huh? So I agree with this part, uh, giving networking is not necessarily discipline. Yes, yeah, sometimes it's your luck, it's that you're at the right time, at the right place. Then you get your, your business deal, you get your ideas, you got your something to support you, like some investor come in, back to you, Kang Yao, discipline. Discipline is essential for success as it makes you as it makes you continue on your journey to success despite facing hardships. Discipline is what makes you push on and in the end succeed. It's like the movie Rocky, despite being very exhausted, he instead continued as he knows that he has to continue in order to be on par with the boxing champion. You watch the movie now, by the way, huh? Uh Kanye. Uh, I watched it before. Huh? I watched it before. You watched it before. Hey, is this what essential correct now? No, no, right? No. Uh, how do you spell again? Sunday, I forgot. E S S essential. Essential, essential, correct? Or? I think it's correct, right? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Sunday. I thought I was 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 spelling blur here. Uh, do you watch the Rocky one, two, three, and the final one? Now? The whole entire series now. Uh, no, I only watched the first one. You should watch the second, the third one, and the last one is the best. The last one is the best, I tell you. You should watch the last one when you're free. Maybe when you're next month going for holiday in the on the plane, or you watch on your, your download, uh, or, or watch it. The last Rocky movie is one of the best. Trust me. You will understand why the discipline come in. When people knock you down, you get out. Knock you down, you get out. And this is called what, determination, something like that. Go and read up. Go and watch the movie. Yeah, it's true, huh? I like the way you use the Rocky example. Well done. Let's go, man, bro. Uh, discipline is not essential for success. There has been a study of what makes someone successful. Uh, people who are rich and considered as successful put that it is that it is knowing the right person, luck and advantages. Many successful people were or all have luck on their side, but they still have to put in a certain degree of discipline. I think it's not just so much about luck by the rich people or the very famous people. It's just because they're really rich, they are famous, they are well-to-do, they have fame already. So people will come, they are just like the flower, they are the honey. Eh? The everyone come to the person to get more acquainted with him, to get closer with him, to network with him, to feel good about him beside rub shoulder, to feel a sense of belonging with him. Therefore, uh, you might consider luck, you might consider because he got this uh, PR, good personal relationship, he got like a ren yen, uh, the, the ura coming to them. Uh. Well, I, I would say wrong. Well done to all the three of you who wrote the answer. Back to you, Zach. Do you still want to write your answer? By looking at you, putting your hand on the head, it's like, do you take your maxon, uh, by the way, Zach? Zach, if you're not feeling well, can you just lie on the bed and listen? I will skip this. Uh. Zach, is it okay? You thumbs up. All right. Thank you, my dear. I love you. You take care. Don't be so stressed. All right. So, uh, have we done this uh, situation writing? According to 2012 Cyber Ring Cycle Conduct, okay, the, uh, this one, uh, <clears throat> six way. Have we done? And then this one here, uh, we selected the other uh, question now. <clears throat> so the five of you, can you start selecting the question now? Let me put it here. In fact, the four questions, uh, I leave it to you. Uh. Supposed to do, uh, eight ways the hell is. Must do, huh, please. This is a... Uh... Okay, so which question?
give you a few minutes to think. I come back to you. Wash my hand. Huh? Okay, give you a few minutes to think about it and tell me which question you want to do. And then, of course, gentlemen, the the essay, uh, the situation I think so, huh? Okay, so have you all decided which question to do? Can you? Are you still thinking? I prefer you to write on a piece I of paper. I sent mine in chat already. Huh? I sent the question I want to do in Number chat Number one, huh? Hey, yeah. I thought I'd make the form smaller with you, damn it. There's no pole, no need to pull it. This one is uh written on full scale paper. This is a uh exam paper, huh? I took for my previous school, I think. Yeah. Okay, what about you, the rest? Zachary, number two, huh? thank you, sir. Must write, huh? really must write and hand in. Huh? You still owe me a few questions. That one, a degree, is it important to you? That one, you haven't hand in. Huh? That one is, I mentioned, is compulsory. Huh? Nobody is still handing to me the questions. Huh? Then no point, uh, if you want to continue WS, uh, CWS, you need to write. Uh, I hope you all understand. I cannot be talking, talking, and then you're not submitting. Uh, write a full piece of 380 to 500 words of essay, handwritten to me. Uh, it doesn't do justice to you uh, and to me and to your parents. Please, sorry. Uh, I'm very straightforward to all of you. Don't mind. Number, Kang Yao, Zachary, Kang Yao also number two. Huh? So make my life easier. <laughs> Just cut and paste him. Okay. Morning, night. I think I'll do uh, number one. Ah, well, I'll make my life easy. Eh? <laughs> Cut and paste. Okay, so just nice. Huh? So this one, uh, we still got two weeks at school holiday. I know you got, those of you are uh, now step down from CCA, you got time. Uh, for Kao Yao, I know you got CCA. I know it's a bit tough. You're going for, you, during your trip in China, if you can do it, that would be best. Huh? I, hope, eh? uh, I hope you all, can do this, okay? And then, uh, can we have a spend some time? Wait, what's wrong with me? Can we do spend some time, uh, to do this one, the drop or this one here? Okay, let's make it smaller. Uh, this one here. So Zach, I will not continue for this unless you want to submit to me separately. 
Because next lesson, you will not see this. I didn't say, no, Uncle Raymond, give me some time. But I know you can't think now. It's okay. Uh, I know how bad is fever. I know when to. Okay, this one is, uh, why is self-discipline important for achieving success? Yeah, there's another essay question. This one can do here. Here. But now I want you to come, come out some draft. How are you going to write this letter? Okay. Uh, share with me. If you can. Hello, we cannot move down. Oh, okay. All right, share with me. How are you going to do the draft for this situation writing? Give you some time to look through. Yeah, like that, huh? Give you some time to look through it and then give me the draft. How are you going to write to the person? What is the role for this one? Who is your target audience? What is the format? The format is a speech, right? And then what is the tonality? And then you just, how are you going to start off? Dear what? Okay, so type it now in your this uh, Zoom chat. Okay? Please pay attention to what is written here. I think last week I went through According to a 20 child cyberbullying study conducted by Microsoft, it has been noted that Singapore has the second highest rates of online bullying among children and youth between the age of 8 and 17. As part of Singapore Kindness Week, you have been tasked along with your teams to raise the awareness of cyberbullying in school during assembly. Write your speech to the student body stating clearly the current situations of cyberbullying, two ways in which one can stand up to a bully to a bully as highlighted in the infographic. A useful school rights activities that you will initiate to put the message across. So this is not, uh, this is the third one, it's the last one, you have to come up your ideas. How are you going to pass this message to create awareness, attention and alertness? Write your speech in clear, accurate English and in a convincing manner, encouraging and also entice your students or classmates or schoolmates to do their part. You should use your own words as much as possible. So out of these six, which one will you choose? Well, Uncle Raymond, if I were you, I will choose. Uh, I will use the block the bully because they say two ways, right? This one, this one, I know I'm not going to do that. This one, all close, right? Since I'm a, a young person, I would rather talk to this two. I will choose this two. Save the evidence, don't point. Yeah. So what can you do? Imagine you got these 100 people attacking you, you're going to save all the 100. Now. Okay, rather talk to the adult and see what they can give the best solutions. So these are the two I would choose, okay? I'll come back to you very fast. By the time I sit down, I want you to tell me which are the two and start writing in your Zoom chat. Say, I will setting, I will do this page, I, I'll give an introduction. Yes, I'll draft. I will choose this, uh, don't respond and block the bully because I feel these two are blah, blah, blah. Okay, in point form and... uh. What are the useful activities I will do? I will create a, a, a fun, fun show and tell or a video or every student will come out with short, short messages, uh, a short 30 second videos to tell uh, you are not alone. I also got scammed before, like Lee Sien Long also got scammed for e-commerce.
Are you done? Okay. Talk to your trusted and don't respond. Okay, that is your two point. And what is the third one? The useful school wide activities that you want to propose during your speech to encourage, entice, and, and force them to do, do it. Not just right like that, huh? of course, by right, you, all this homework is supposed to be done and let me mark a full situation paper. If you are now face to face, huh, you'll be sitting in the classroom doing this for me already. By right, this is supposed to be a homework at home to be done and then mark by me and then share with the class in during the classroom time. The Zoom time, okay? I'm very strict on this, I'm sorry, yeah. Okay. If not like that, you don't complete, it's very hard to score more marks. Huh? Like I say, I understand your your whatever you have, your study, your commitment, all this thing. You only spend 30 minutes, complete it, that's it. Done. Get it done over with it, okay? So only can you supply the homework to me, the two, not homework, the two answer to me. What about the rest? Thank you. Okay, you send to the group, huh? because I'm not going to place here. If I want, I can place it here. Okay, I, I just want something like that, very good. Uh, can you do like what Kenyu is doing now? Like that. Okay, like that. Huh? So at least even you don't want to do a full situation paper, at least you got some point will help you in your, your exam, right? Okay, please, for goodness sake, you want, you want me to kneel down to all of you. Huh? Please submit homework. Huh? 要给一个老人家跪下来跟你求你们啊,啊,个,叫红根。Ah, you see, Kang Yao, now you understand, I thought your school teach you what to do uh, in your exam. It's called rough. I think I said before, right? Rough is the, the what is your role? Your role is a what? And then audience. And then the format is speech. Then the tone, the tone will be here. The tone. And then the S, S will be situation, the three point, that's your situations. So what must you do? Of course, good morning to P, VP, teachers, and fellow schoolmates. Today, I am here to talk about cyber bullying have you ever been cyber bullying before as for me yes i do a few times then you say let me tell you more about CB, uh, cyberbullying. In today, my speech, I wish to emphasize 
about us. Okay, something like that. Okay, now, can you? So speech is like straight away. You give the speech, huh? Good morning. No, I don't know. Sure, sure, sure. I don't know why my Zoom message not sending. I'll, I'll, I'll try to get this fixed right now. But okay, okay. Don't no, send me what that. No, uh, what's that, ah? Are you okay, lah? Ting liang Zoom, lah. Yeah, okay, this is the point you, you all have, but I want something like uh in you like that. Okay, to do um just like point form. Okay, you choose the two point, then how are you gonna explain the two point? This is a draft, I know uh, this is a draft. What about the third point? What about the third situation? What about this one? How about this one? How about this point here? You're supposed to come up with an idea though. Okay, you're supposed to come up with ideas, okay? You got five more minutes. Of course, of course, you can think of the conclusions, uh, what you want to write a conclusion. Uh, that's all I would like to say about cyberbullying. If you need more information, you can approach any of us in the in a counselor department, something like that. Yeah, Tang Yao, thank you very much. So this is your speech huh? that you're going to talk to the whole entire school with principal, vice principal, teachers, everyone. So in conclusion, how are you going to conclude? How are you going to end the situation right things? I'd like to inform all of you that cyberbullying is a very serious uh, situation now. Everyone's uh, going through this cycle. We can't escape, escape it, blah, 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 what you're going to say.
No, no one sent me to me. Yeah. Paling, are you sending to me now? Going to be nine thirty. Is that I? Uh, it's okay. Is that if you are not feeling well, that's okay. So read, uh, read your friends' uh, ideas here. Uh. Always depends your greeting. Then good morning or good good. Uh, greetings to all. Greetings to dear principal, vice principal, teachers, and fellow schoolmates today. I'm standing here to give this speech about cyberbullying. Have you ever been bullied before? If not, you are lucky. If yes, you are well, like me, one of the victims. Let me tell you more about how the way we're going to curb this cyberbullying. Then when you talk to finish, well, that's my end of that is well. Uh, thus, in conclusion, that's my end of my speech. I'd like to tell you that you are not alone. We are here to help you. So please extend your help. Extend your your queries to any one of us here. Uh, if you want to be a personal touch, we can arrange to talk to you personally. So then you can say thank you and have a nice day. Hope cyberbullying will stop. Something like that. Thank you, have a nice day. And hope that you'll be safe away from cyberbullying. guys. Okay. You can see more and more algorithms are putting in a lot and lot of efforts to help you to score at least improve by two grades. But if you don't want to work with me, you may still improve. Huh? You may still pass, but your pass may not be satisfactory, may not be uh, fulfilling, may not be your expectations of, of what you want. So based on my experience, uh, this is the things I can give you. I may not be a top tutor, Okay, I'm still a human, so every now and then I'm still learning. I'll give my best to my student. <clears throat> Sometimes if I find new way, I read somewhere. I, I to be honest, I copy some of other tutors' ideas. Let's be fair, we copy each other. I, I think it's fine or hardly all right. It's it's okay to copy one another because ultimately we want our student to improve. Right? It's not copy then we can't kill each other, then it's very unhealthy. La. But we are here to help each other. And copy, hey, this idea is good, then we modify, we change, and ultimately, who benefit? The student benefit. I, I don't mind people taking my SMRTs, um, SMERT, SMRT, uh, setting all these things and other uh, ideas to share with the students or child to 15 words. It's okay. Okay, thank you so much, all of you. So I think you better go and have a good rest later on. Thank you. I really appreciate that you come in. And, and share with us your thoughts, your attention here, undi undivided attention. Not easy, yeah. I, I can tell you when I was having my kidney stone, uh, I was lying there and forcing myself to teach lying on the bed and still got people, parents complain, why this teacher lying on the bed and teach? Uh? Then luckily the student said, Mommy, the tutor sick, uh, kidney stone, uh, actually can postpone the lesson, but uh, insist to teach. Uh. So thank you for the student's appreciation. Okay. I really say I'm sick now. But obviously the, the the parents only see the I lie down, I did not explain to them why I'm sick. Now. So I must put the subtitle on Harley. The tutor is sick now, lying on the bed. Please forgive. Uh you put Sao Tai Put Zhou Ching Do Do Bao Han. So you know all these things, huh? So I put there. We'll discuss more next week and read the draft. Okay? So that'll be easier. Lah. So I put a remark here uh, in red color. In red. And then this one also, we're going to, this one will be must be written in your own hand writing on full scale papers. Okay, so this is very clear cut already. Uh. And this one, of course, we don't, I don't mind. Uh, Zach, I leave it to you. Uh, but if it's good, then you can give out, uh, it will help you. So this is also an argumentative essay, agree and not agree. Uh. 
And of course, here, this one next week, we'll talk more about it. And of course, uh, this one here. Where is it? Uh? I think I got stick or one more. Where the hell is it? No more? Oh my goodness, where is it? Uh? Uh, this one here, the surfaces. We haven't done this. Uh? By the way, tomorrow got no lesson for the set four student, uh, you know. Uh? Okay, Uncle Raymond is going for uh, my school annual bursary 100 years dinner. Anyone want to add some more? No? Can you It's good that you write the whole essay, then you can tell uh, where it goes wrong. A speech is quite uh, different from formal and informal email and letter and proposal and report. Uh. Speech and article is something that may be tested in your own level. I think that a long time haven't come out yet. Last year, I think it was a formal letter. Uh, this year, good luck to the three of you. Uh, if you come out speech, just nice. Uh, so you can do it and understand how you're going to write a speech. Uh. Of course, of course, uh, Uncle Raymond will give you an example of your speech, but I would like to see your hand in the homework to me. Okay? So anyone, so again, go around the table. I won't ask that. Ask that. Thank you. Thank you. Because you can't see you. You got anything to add? No. Thank you. Honey. Uh, Kang Yao. No, I think don't lie. You're also very tired already. Yeah. But please, uh, next week. Next week, we'll do nothing. We'll go through the proper situation. Right? I think then we brainstorm, okay? And then uh, if you can, we write down on the full scale paper and submit to me, though, there's a proper 